Today we bring you a very challenging project that we did city center of Lisbon city on one of the nicest neighborhoods you will ever visit, in my humble opinion, which is in the Bairro da Estrela, where you have o Jardim da Estrela and where you're going to have in the future the metro station just really close by. So this project was a full renovation of a building. Yeah, you heard me well. This time we took an even bigger project. We took on the renovation of a full building that was built on the 1800s, so it has a lot of history, it's, it's, a hot, it's in a historical building full of the beautiful Portuguese style from that era. And today I'm going to walk you through one of the model floors. So this is a building with five apartments and we renovated four of them. And today I'm going to show you the one that we believe is a beautiful representation of the departments on this building. So let me go through it and show you what we've done and you'll see some pictures of before so you can compare and see how the differences are astonishing. So let's go. So let me start showing you. So that's the main entrance. As you come in, you're greeted with this hall that takes you to one of the bedrooms, the common bathroom, second bedroom, and the living room and just right here you have the kitchen so let's go and show you immediately the kitchen this one suffered a huge transformation we had to change the floor for vanillic floor unfortunately the original floor was in terrible shape and it couldn't be recovered and as well by putting this laminated floor we added some more protection to the floor and some good dynamics on the acoustics so here you are the kitchen, we tried to optimize space as much as we could within the limitations of this space itself, as you can see. It has like the, the old chimney, we couldn't really remove this nook here because it's not possible. So we tried to work through all the spaces we have here. We went to with a line of IKEA kitchens that it has a good quality price and went with a look more minimalistic, more neutral, because we believe that that brings more beauty into this kitchen. So you have a lot of light coming from that little space. And here is where we put the, the fridge to save us some space. Here is where you have the washing machine. And this is the other corner of the kitchen. We had some extra space here. So we decided to add a foldable table so you can have nice breakfast here if you so wish to. But overall, a kitchen optimized to storage and convenience. Next, we have this bedroom, which has a lovely surprise. It has like the details from back in the day of the 1800s where they did plaster on all the ceilings. So it looks really beautiful. And then you have an amazing view here of Calçado da Estrela. And then you have a little bonus in this room. You have this little space that can be either a walk-in closet or maybe it can be just a beautiful little studio or office where you have lovely natural light. Here we also couldn't recover the windows. They were wooden windows. They were so damaged that they were beyond repair. So we went with double glaze, no, actually triple glaze PVC from our friends at Echo Blue, which we absolutely love them and have used them in every single project from all our suppliers. That's definitely one we recommend the most. So let's keep going here. From here, we arrive of what I'm gonna call the jewel of this apartment. Because this is a corner apartment, guess what? You have light 
so much light coming in. You have four unbelievable windows here in this loving, lovely room. And then all the ceilings with plaster, beautiful plaster. It gives us that charm from back in the day. We have an airco air unit there to give us some comfort. And then around, we have a really nice balcony. And as you can see, you can spot here the lovely 2828 tram that goes across the city and is a beautiful tourist thing to do. And this is the tile of the building, which is a beautiful traditional tile from the 1800s. And you have around the building this beautiful balcony where you can come in and relax, take some time outside. Although I have to tell you, there's a tiny bit of noise, but that's common. You're in a big city in Lisbon, so that's absolutely normal. So you can put your greens here. And just on the other corner there, there's where's gonna be the metro station. So this apartment, this building is beautifully located and it has beautiful aesthetics that we try to keep as much as possible. I'm gonna leave it like this to let it breathe a little bit. So this is by far our favorite piece of this apartment is this beautiful living room with so much light. We decided to put all the light fixtures because I think it's, it's much better. We always hated when we rented apartments that we had to put our own and like to all the electrical piece. And when you remove it, you can easily damage the electrical cable. So we prefer just to put the minimalistic one and just let it be. If you wanna give it some more bazaars, you can change the lamps to something more vintage. And this is, let's call it the main, the biggest bedroom. Again, with two massive windows, plastered work ceiling, with a beautiful view. Already has the rods here, if you wanna put some curtains for privacy. And then on the corner, you have a lovely surprise, which is your own very one walk-in closet, or who knows if you're recording, it might be a good place for recording in some quiet time. I hope you enjoyed this visit of a building that we renovated here in Lisbon city center. It was quite a challenge because we also had to change all the plumbing of the building itself because it was still in plumb. It was still old materials no longer used. So we decided to change everything. The biggest challenge is on this renovation. It's all about water. The sewers and the plumbing, that is always the biggest challenge on these old buildings to renovate and change all those elements for something more actual and that can cause less issues because the biggest damage on old buildings, we think about fire, but the probability is low, but the high probability is water. Water infiltration from any of the machines, from the kitchen of the bathroom, those can cause immensely damage. So we try to minimize those as much as possible. So I hope you enjoyed a view of this project we did here and stay tuned because we will share much more that we have on our pipeline. Thank you so much for watching until next time.